This is Greg Thomas, and welcome to the Welsh American Channel. As Americans pondered a revolution in the 1770s, a number of political philosophers arose to influence the leaders of the growing movement for revolution. For most historians, the first name that pops up when you think of a political activist and philosopher of the revolution is English-born Thomas Paine. Indeed, he did author the pamphlets Common Sense in 1776 and later The American Crisis, two of the most influential pamphlets at the start of the American Revolution. Paine helped to inspire the patriots in 1776 to declare independence from Great Britain. The problem with Thomas Paine is that he had a chip on his shoulder and was unfortunately adversarial towards others, including former friends, until his last breath. For example, in 1796, he published a bitter open letter to George Washington, whom Paine denounced as a hypocrite and incompetent general. When he died on June 8, 1809, only six people attended his funeral because he had been ostracized for his ridicule of Christianity and his attacks on the nation's leaders. We could say, tongue-in-cheek, that Thomas Paine didn't know how to stop being a Paine. In contrast to Thomas Paine, there was another today little-known political activist and philosopher of the Revolution. He is little known because even though he communicated with men like Benjamin Franklin, George Washington, Thomas Jefferson, and John Adams, he never visited the United States, yet his influence was enormous. He personally knew Thomas Paine, and he also knew the British philosophers David Hume and Adam Smith. So who was this influential political activist and philosopher of the Revolution? It was Welshman Richard Price. Born in a small village near Bridgend, Wales, Price spent most of his adult life as minister of the Newington Green Unitarian Church on the then outskirts of London, England. Price was a Welsh moral philosopher, nonconformist minister, and a mathematician. He was also a political reformer and a pamphleteer. He was active in radical, republican, and liberal causes such as the American and French revolutions. He was so talented, it would be an understatement to call him a polymath. Price published and developed the Bayes-Price theorem and the field of actuarial science. He also wrote on issues of demography and finance and was a fellow of the Royal Society. According to historian John Davies, Price was, quote, the greatest Welsh thinker of all time, end of quote. Richard Price was a radical both politically and religiously. His father, Rhys Price, was a dissenting minister. After the death of his parents, Price moved to London, where he spent the rest of his life, except for occasional trips back to Wales on horseback, according to some friends. After being a lecturer and chaplain, in 1758 Price moved to Newington Green and took up residence in number 54 The Green, in the middle of a terrace that was even then a hundred years old. Price became the Unitarian minister to the Newington Green Meeting House, a church that continues today as Newington Green Unitarian Church. The Unitarians were considered radical dissenters who denied the Trinity and other mainstream doctrines of the Church of England. The support Price gave to the colonies of British North America in the American War of Independence was invaluable and dynamic. In early 1776, he published Observations on the Nature of Civil Liberty, the Principles of Government, and the Justice and Policy of the War with America. Enormous sales in America and England followed this publication. 
60,000 copies of this pamphlet were sold within days, and a cheap edition was issued, which sold another 120,000 copies. A second pamphlet on the war with America and the debts of Great Britain followed in the spring of 1777. Price was a constant critic of war in general against the Americans and the corrupting effects of growing government debt. He was one of the first political philosophers to warn against the nation's national debt, an issue that is still with us today. His passionate commitment to the cause of liberty led him to take on a public role in various campaigns, including a lessening of the penalties on nonconformists in Britain and his public support of both the American and French revolutions. In the 1770s, Price's name became identified with the cause of American independence. Benjamin Franklin became a close friend, and in the winter of 1778, Price was invited by the Continental Congress to go to America and assist in the financial administration of the states. This was an offer he turned down. He never would visit the United States as he felt his first priority was as the minister of his congregation at the Newington Green Meeting House. When Lord Shelburne became Prime Minister in 1782, Price was offered the post of his private secretary, which he turned down. That same year, he was elected a foreign honorary member of the American Academy of Arts and Sciences. Throughout the American War, he preached sermons on various fast days. These were publicly appointed days for citizens to reflect on certain issues or crises and the role of people and God in them. Price took the opportunity to attack Britain's coercive policies toward the colonies. His contributions to the revolution were so noticeable that together with George Washington, he was made an LLD Doctor of Laws by Yale College in 1781. After the revolution ended in 1784, Price wrote, The observations on the importance of the American Revolution and the means of rendering it a benefit to the world. It was well received by Americans as it correctly suggested that the greatest problem facing the new American Congress was its lack of central powers. As a radical, Price received the most criticism for his support of the French Revolution. Price was a millennialist and saw the French Revolution of 1789 as a fulfillment of biblical prophecy. In his sermons and pamphlets, he exhorted the public to strip themselves of national prejudices and embrace what he called universal benevolence. This was a concept of cosmopolitanism, that all human beings are members of a single community. This is what Price believed entailed support for the French Revolution and the progress of enlightened ideas. However, as the French Jacobins grew more violent, radical British supporters, including Price, were not prepared to condone political violence. Back in North America, Thomas Jefferson faced the same criticism as the French Revolution turned into a riot of bloodshed, terror, and debauchery. Price's extended family included nephews William Morgan, the father of modern actuarial science, and his brother George Cadogan Morgan, a dissenting minister and published scientist. They were both sons of Richard Price's sister Sarah by William Morgan Sr., who was a surgeon at Bridge End, Glamorganshire. In 1786, Mrs. Price died, and there were no children by the marriage. His own health was failing, and according to some close friends, the remainder of Price's life appears to have been somewhat clouded by solitude and dejection. In his lifetime, Price wrote extensively on theological questions, finance, economics, probability, and life insurance. Price died on the 19th of April, 1791, 
and was buried at Bunhill Fields in London, where his funeral sermon was preached by Joseph Priestley. In February of 2023, an English Heritage blue plaque in honor of Price was installed on the wall at 54 Newington Green, where he lived, and close to the Newington Green Nonconformist Chapel, where he was a pastor. Finally, Richard Price doesn't receive the credit he deserves for the profound influence he personally had on the founding fathers, like Benjamin Franklin. George Washington, Thomas Jefferson, and John Adams. His pamphlets also had an enormous influence on the American and British public. Price was politically as radical as Thomas Paine, but the difference was in their personality. Paine could come across as inflexible, rude, arrogant, and adversarial. In contrast, Richard Price was recognized as kind, congenial, and personable aside from his radical religious and political beliefs. According to the eulogies and obituaries written at the time of his death in 1791, Richard Price's name would be remembered alongside figures such as Benjamin Franklin, John Locke, George Washington, and Thomas Paine. Unfortunately, it soon faded. In Britain, he was soon dismissed as a radical troublemaker because of his support for the French Revolution. In the United States, Thomas Paine was given prominence because of his popular pamphlets and the fact that he lived his later years in the United States and died in New York. But now you know the true story of a remarkable Welshman, Dr. Richard Price, the political activist and philosopher of the American Revolution. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel or give us a like and feel free to make any comments below. If you would like to see more biographies of leading Welsh patriots or Welsh Americans, give us a like and if you have an individual you would like us to showcase, let me know in the comments below. This is Greg Thomas saying Hoylam Nauer, bye for now.